Nobody paid attention to my solos. Until I did this. Until I did this. Until I did this. Until I did this. Hello, this is David. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping you develop your musical personality on the guitar so that you can tell a better musical story. So we're talking about standing out today, but we're not talking about standing out in an arrogant way. That's not the purpose of the channel at all. This is not about competition, but it's about being able to embrace your own aura, yeah, who you are on the instrument so that people can recognize you. And this is one of those concepts that can really help you do that because it forces you to speak with authority and confidence even if the note is wrong. So I'm talking about repetition. And that alone can be expanded to a lot of different things. We're gonna use a backing track in G Dorian today. I'm gonna to include a few backing tracks for you to explore. I'll tell you more about that later, free, link is below. But that's what we're using here for this example. So G minor pentatonic, G Dorian is going to work here. And we're gonna build a very simple minor pentatonic phrase, maybe something like this. Three pitches, right? I'm starting here on the fourth string, third fret, fifth fret, and then third string, third fret, and then back to that fourth string, fifth fret. But it's kind of a vanilla flavored phrase. It doesn't really have much flavor to it. And if you just play that in the context of a jam band or something like that, it's been heard over and over and over. And you're going to blend in, which is fine sometimes, but sometimes you really want people to know that, oh, that guy's playing with me. So what we're gonna do is what my kids teach me all the time. If you wanna be heard, what's the best way to do it? Repeat the same exact thing 10 billion times until daddy gives up. In this case, we're gonna take the note that we really want the listener to engage with and resonate with. So for me, I'm gonna take this middle note, this one right here to really accentuate my point. So instead of playing something like, like this, I'm gonna repeat this quite a bit. Different, right? But this repetition creates is expectation. You are expecting me at this point to deliver the end. If I just played this without that tension of repetition, if I just play it like this, that phrase really doesn't mean anything. And that last note, the last pitch, I mean, it sounds okay, it's kind of stable, but, but there's not this sense of <sighs> relief. So you're really creating tension and release here. And that's where you need to be extremely confident because when you are in the repetition phase, you're playing the same note or the same two or three notes on and on, you can't just clone these notes. You need to add something a little extra. And that's the confidence, that's the way you play it. Maybe it's the rhythm placement, you really need to not be timid here. So you need to emphasize that you are doing something a little uncomfortable because that shows the listener that you're still in control. For example, it's like pushing really hard. <laughs> and then, well, anyways, wow. We can also do that with full musical phrases. And what really helps is to imagine that you are speaking to maybe a foreigner who doesn't speak your language natively, or maybe a two-year-old who doesn't quite have the vocabulary yet to understand what you're telling him. So you really have to dumb things down and repeat things in a different light until it clicks. So that's kind of what we're going to try here with uh, fuller sentences. Well, let's try this over the backing track. I'm pretending here that I'm telling my two-year-old to go to bed. Time to go to bed. Here's my phrase. Time to go to bed. Okay. He doesn't get it. I'm going to repeat it. Time to go to bed. Okay, I'm getting a little frustrated. 
time to go. Time, time, time to go to bed. I'm repeating elements of that phrase. Now I'm not going to tell you what I'm thinking, but I'm still going to think along those lines of that story, telling my son to get to bed, getting a little frustrated, confidently telling him go to bed. Bottom line is confidence. Confidence in what you're playing. Even with bad notes, if you hit a wrong note at some point and you know that it clashes, repeat it. That is the tension. But then you're offering release. See what I did there? A repetition of rhythm, rhythm motifs. So it doesn't just work with repetition of notes. A rhythm motif can really help. So, ta ka ta ka ta. For example, ta ka ta ka ta, ta ka ta ka ta, ta ka ta ka ta, ta ka ta ka ta. It's a simple concept, but it really leads to new discoveries on the instrument. Just first start cloning things, and then add your own flavor to the things that you're cloning and repeating. And eventually you'll discover a sense of confidence that really makes the difference between a great player and a good player. And you can do it. I know that. You can download the backing track and a few other goodies for free. The link is below. And also, watch this video. Here, I'm going to share with you five very simple tricks that you may not have thought of that are going to make you sound fusion. Check this out. It's pretty awesome. I'll meet you right here. Thanks for watching. Practice well. Practice well. Practice. I've got to stop this.